Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and I am back with another art before breakfast. It's been a while, and I apologize. I have been, oh, up to my eyeballs in a huge sale that I did, and processing all the invoices, and it's been crazy, and I have been swamped. But I am back this morning, and <clears throat> this is going to be a quick one. So, um, good morning to everybody. If you're a returning subscriber, um, I appreciate you. And if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. And I hope you enjoy what you see here. And if you do, I hope you'll consider giving me a like. So let's get started. I recently purchased some of the new Tim Holtz stuff. These are, um, these are frames and they're so cool. They're frames, three different sizes of frames. And the really neat thing about them is that they are stitched all the way around, as you can see. They are stitched and um, and the threads were left hanging off the bottom. So that's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna use one of those today. And then I bought this ephemera pack, which is called ephemera pack. <laughs> this one is palette is the name of it and it has got so many pieces and I love my little pieces but it's got big stuff and little stuff there's some more frames there I mean there's just I haven't gone through the whole thing yet but there is tons and tons and tons of fun stuff in here to play with oh look at there's a pretty border um, so all kinds of things. Alphabets, there's a book cover. There's a few book covers. And autographs. Give me a while to be able to read that. So anyway, just all kinds of stuff in here. And so I thought I would do something with the frame and something um, with this little ephemera, little, it's a huge ephemera pack. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a book page, again, and I'm gonna make this into a journal card. So, let's just start by gluing this together to give it a little more strength, and then we'll put a backing on it too, so it will have a backing. and have a little more strength there. All right, so there's our the start of our card. Now, let's pick, ooh, that fits just about perfect. I like that. Now, let's find a, we need a pretty large piece yeah, it's just text. I want something with a focal on it. Um, so let's see. We'll go through this. That's pretty. Um, a little stuff, little stuff. There's a big one. There's, ooh, there's a big one. Some pink roses. All right, let's try these. Oh, perfect, look at that. That's perfect. That one's a little too big, I'd have to cut it down some, which I'm not excited about cutting that piece. And then this doesn't really have a focal on it. I'd have to put something else on it. So, I think that was a quick decision. We will use this piece. Now, I do want to let me find my. Um, I can find my little daubers here. I've been doing invoicing, and I've got bags and all kinds of stuff all over the place. Um, hmm. 
Let's see if I can find what I did with my daubers. If not, I may not be able to ink this up. I know they're here somewhere. It's just a matter of what I did with them while I was doing my sale. Um, what I put them underneath. And if you could see this part of my desk, you would see that I have stuff everywhere. And I've got to get back to invoice. And boy, for those of you who came out to the sale, I really appreciate you. We had such a great time at the sale. Um, and if you haven't done one before, even if you just come to watch, even if you don't, you know, really want to buy anything, it is a ton of fun. Hmm. Hang on, I'm getting out my vintage photo here. And I do want to put some ink, you know, ink just really doesn't work real well. On this shiny it's not super shiny but it's um, slick oh, there we go we'll put a little black around the middle that's a little darker it shows up a little better and this stays on ink uh, sticks a little better so I'm using stays on ink here I'm just gonna go around I just want the frame to stand out from the picture behind it. So what's everybody up to this morning? It's Sunday morning. Start a whole new week next week. Watching me ink. This is the most fun part of your entire day, right? All right, I think that makes it stand out just a little bit better. All right, let's glue this down. Let's glue this down to this. And I'm just gonna run a bead of glue, use the lid to my vintage photo. I'm just gonna run a bead of this tacky glue right around um, where that frame is on this picture. So it will stick to the frame. And I'm not even sure that I'm going to cover the front of this book page. I think I'm just going to put it down. Um, and let that book page, because it's only showing through on one side. Let's get this just a little bit straighter on the back here. See how that looks. There we go. Look at that. And I think I'm going to let that um, book page stick out on the side there. Then we will ink up. the book page. I'm going to ink this pretty heavily so that um, the frame kind of comes up to the edge of the inking. So I'm going to go in quite a bit. Well, I've got a big day ahead of me. I've got 
once you finish up invoicing, that's my least favorite part of the sales. I mean, all the excitement's over and I need to obviously get paid, but um, I like the excitement of the sale itself. So the um, invoicing isn't. I think that's true for most sellers. Invoicing is the least favorite part. But got to be done if I'm going to collect some money to go buy new stuff and have a new sale. Let's make sure that's down really good. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to ink just a little more right over here. All right. And then... Let's see, what do I need to put this thing down with? Um, I'm going to use a little fabric tack because it's a little bit slick. And I want to make sure it stays down well. And let's put that down. So it goes top to bottom pretty much. Oh, that fabric tack has a strong smell. I just got a big whiff of it. Get high off of that stuff. All right. And I didn't edge around the outside of the frame, <clears throat> excuse me, because, you know, it's. I think it's obvious where the outside of the frame is. Got just a little bit showing top and bottom, little tiny border. All right, so there's that. Now let's see if we can find just a couple, like something to put here um, out of this ephemera pack. I'm looking for just a couple of little. Maybe that down there. Maybe. Nope, I've already got. And then I'm thinking maybe something up top but it's got to be pretty little so i'm going through my there's something pretty small oh there's a number that might be good there's another number and another one I think out of those we might be able to find a good one because I could spend hours going through this and I probably will go through each piece of it and sort it out by size and I'm a little anal like that so if I want something really small I can go right to it um, I was looking for something with maybe a little butterfly. I'm not seeing any little butterflies. And I would need a pretty small one. Okay. Let's see. So if we do this down here at the bottom and then we put a little number up there at the top. I think that's cute. Oh, it might be a little big. I could cut this down a little bit. We could have number 814 up there. Look at that. Isn't that just a sweet card? 
for a journal card. Okay, let's do some quick inking. Let's do number 814. I love having these big packages of a lot of ephemera because you can quickly pull something together that's cohesive and pretty and um, I like it a lot. No lace, no fabrics, just some basic pieces on a book page. And I didn't even cover, now I will cover the back of the book page. All right. All right, let's bubble in there. So today for me is invoicing, and if I get a chance, I don't know that I will, but if I get time, I want to do a little work on the 600 Subby giveaway journal. Um, I've got some off-camera things I need to do, like stitch down the, um, I gotta stitch down the, cover lace on the cover and I can't really do that live because my camera doesn't go that far all right this says number and this says number but that's fine by me and we'll This Parisian taffeta ribbon. And there we go. A quick little art before breakfast. What do you guys think? I do need to um, cover it on the back. So let's do that real quick. I got this wrapping paper. And I'll just put some quick down here. I'm not going to sew around this one because it's already got the stitching around the frame and the frame is so close to the edge. Um, I don't necessarily want to stitch over that. So I don't think I'll do that, but I do want to get this backing down. I use this old crinkly paper <clears throat> and then I use my credit card or I don't really use my bone folder on this it doesn't do as good but if you have one of those scrapers but when you um, press it out it really straightens out a lot it's still got a little bit of a wrinkle in there to give it some character but let's put around this real quick I'm not even going to round the corners on this one because the frame is not rounded and um, this way the background matches the, the frame. I may change my mind when I go to use it. I may decide I want rounded corners and that's fine, um, but for now I'm going to leave them straight and I think I missed a corner up here a little bit. We'll put some of this glue on there. And yeah it's the corners that tend and I don't know why because I ink on you ink on them but they don't stick as well sometimes. That one's fine and this one needs a little extra glue. All right, ladies and gents, if I have any gents watching, there is this morning's Art Before Breakfast, a quick little journal card that I can now put in my ephemera, pre-made ephemera box. I love it. I love these little frames from Tim Holtz, and I think that made up a cute little card. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, and before you leave... 
uh, please give me a thumbs up on the way out. Thank you.